just going to begin by explaining different grips we're going to use in the class. All right. So this is a kettlebell, obviously, and this is the handle. We're going to use a horn grip handle, which is like this. Hold it from the side. Okay. And then we're going to keep the kettlebell close to us. So you're going to think of grabbing it from the horn, from the side, curling it up, bicep curl, and bring it really close to the body. Okay? So that's the first position. Second uh, position we're going to do is call uh, a rack. Okay? You can hold it up. You don't have to clean it. Basically, you want a 45 degree of the hand. You want to maintain, keep that belt close to the body. The big, the ball be resting on the outside. And your hands, the elbow, be like the Pledge of Allegiance. So, you have the Pledge of Allegiance, okay? You have the space right here. That's where the weight for the bell will be at, okay? Now, you, you rack it, relax the wrist slightly, and you hold that bell, okay? So, that's the rack position, okay? Right here, hands are 45 degrees. The bell is resting against your chest, and you have the Pledge of Allegiance grip here, B position here. Third position is holding it up on top. Make sure when you hold it on top, that your shoulders are packed down. Your bicep is behind the ear. Not like this. Back like that. And that the bell is resting 45 degrees. Okay? So. That's a position. You can call this overhead position and you're relaxing. Your shoulders are packed down. 45 degrees, the wrist is slightly relaxed, okay? And your, your bicep is behind your ear, or by your ear. So, let's recap. You have the horn grip. You have the rack grip, rack, uh, rack position. And you have the overhead position. These are three basic positions you can hold the kettlebell.